My name is Andrea Allen and I am Chief Judge in NIFCA Film and this is um, something that I get to enjoy every year. It's very exciting every year to see the improvement and the growth and this year I think has been more exciting than any year because we've had more entries than ever before and that is very, very gratifying, very exciting. My first exposure to NIFCA um, was actually Carifesta in 1981. I arrived at the end of 1980 and all of a sudden, you know, this amazing festival happened and I was just totally blown away by the standard of everything, the dance, the, the, the wonderful shows, the, the food, the cooking, everything. Um, so it was a very positive uh, start to my relationship with NIFCA. I have gone to um, various events over the years. I think my daughter took part um, one year with Queen's College Choir. I think it was that. And um, yes, I've always enjoyed a lot of the events, particularly the NIFCA Gala, uh, which has has always been fantastic because it's the best of each genre, but it, it's just grown in professionalism over the years and um, it's it's always been a birthday treat for me because it's in November and that's where my birthday is too so um, yeah this is a, a long association with NIFCA and um, it, it's been a real honour to be a judge for well I think at least 20 years early, yeah it was early 2000s so at least 20 years and I've been chief judge for past few years and uh, yes that is it's a great privilege to be able to sit down and see the growth of our young filmmakers and I think that what is happening people are starting to take it seriously now because we've all understood gay yeah, music Rihanna we can you know there's a lot of money in that industry but the film industry is is worth a huge amount nowadays with streaming and with all of the different outlets and with all of the different genres that there's a market for and the um, I mean the African market is about to open up enormously because the island uh, the, the island uh, um, the continent is about I think a third online and it, it plans are afoot that very very soon it'll be like 90% online and you know, Barbados is the diaspora, basically. So how wonderful for our material to be to be going there, apart from the rest of the world. Yes, I did actually have. I had a memorable moment um, this very year of judging. Um, as a writer for many years, writing commercials and documentaries and things, it's always been. A goal of mine to move someone to tears, you know, to really pull those emotional threads. And this year it happened to me. And it was one of the junior entries, and I found myself crying. And that I think is the highest accolade I can I can give to anyone. So all I can say is I think that person has a really the writer, actors, whoever put that together um, they all have a future uh, so talking of future I would definitely definitely encourage all the young filmmakers to look at NIFCA as a tremendous platform to to display what they can do to really show what we can do we have you know we've got great musicians you all know you all have friends who are musicians or who do interesting things there's so many stories um, not just music videos, people are starting to understand um, that that is a really good uh, uh, genre to enter with. But, um, you know, short stories are, are a marvellous, marvellous tool. And when you think about a TV commercial, it tells a story in 30 seconds. You can do wonders with a whole two minutes or three minutes. So it, it's especially like the film challenge where you have to put it together in seven days. Um, it, it, it's, it's just a way of exercising, exercising what you can do and, and 
the achievement at the end of it is, is just, it's a wonderful feeling. And then for me as a judge at the end and, and my other two judges, it's fantastic for us to witness. So please keep up the good work and enter next year in droves. 50 years we celebrate.